A man wants the community's help. Jerry Lita says his service dog was aggressively approached by two German Shepherds without a leash. It all happened inside of the Lowell's on Washington Road. News Channel 6's Ashley Jones has more. Dogs get PTSD just like humans do. Jerry Lida is a veteran and the CEO of Southern Canine Solutions. He says his shopping trip at Lowe's on Friday became a traumatic experience not only for him, but for his dog Sailor too. I was in the checkout line, had what I needed to purchase. He was with me and he's trained as far as helping me here. So I have to pay attention to him and I saw him spin around real quick and look the other way and of course I did. And I saw these two German Shepherds charge it. Lida says neither of those German Shepherds were wearing their leashes, but their owner was present. So I told the gentleman, and I use that word loosely, to get his dogs, control his dogs. And he said, oh, they're just puppies. I said, but I have a service dog. You can't do that. And from there, the incident quickly escalated. Got right in my face. I mean, eight to ten inches in my face, yelling at me, and I'm backing up to the counter like I'm, I'm off the vehicle now. And I put my hand back to hold on. He said, oh, you're going for your pistol now, aren't you? I said, no, I'm not. I'm just trying to hold on. A few customers and employees were able to break the altercation up before it went any further. The other dog owner was asked to leave the store. Even though the German Shepherds never physically attacked Sailor, Lida says that run-in has caused him to regress in his training. I've been training the dog since I was 12 years old, but it's to have to do it over again, and that's wasted my time when I could be training him to do another task. There's a cost that comes with that type of training as well. The VA has set the price minimum for a trained service dog at $25,000. They say that price increases with the more tasks the dogs learn. Thomas Gregg, who trains dogs and other trainers with the organization, says a similar situation happened to him, only his dog was actually attacked. We took him back through our program and ran him through again and did everything we could do that we know how to re-educate for the damage that was done. But Greg says his dog wasn't able to get back on track with his training. Lida says if the two German Shepherds were on their leashes, then none of this would have happened. He broke several laws. One is that Columbia County has a leash law. Lida had those laws printed out. It says if any person allows his or her dog to harass an assistance dog, knowing that that dog is an assistance dog, shall be guilty of a misdemeanor. And upon conviction thereof shall be punished by imprisonment for not less than 90 days or a fine not to exceed $500. In Evans, I'm Ashley Jones, WJBF News Channel 6. Now, Lita says he is looking to press charges but needs help identifying the owner of the German Shepherds. He's working on getting surveillance footage from the incident and we will